May 2019 will be conducted as it has been getting conducted till 2018. The exam will be conducted only once. Yes, you have been right. The exam will be conducted once and in offline mode. So a few weeks back, you guys already know that the HRD ministry formed a body which is NDA, which was a conducting body for five national level exams, including me. And need was to be conducted twice a year and that went online mode. Now a few days back, in the welfare of the students, health ministry proposed HRD ministry to reduce the number to once a year only and in offline mode. Because their concern was that since the exam will be held from February, then the students will have to appear for pre boards and boards, then again NEET in May. And meanwhile, there will be some students who will be appearing for NEET as well as GEE. Which means the students have to face 4 to 5 months of extreme pressure. So by the time students got settled with the new changes by NDA, on 21st August 2018, it was announced that NEET will be conducted once and the mode will be offline. Let's look into all the aspects one by one. We'll discuss five points which you need to know about. Number one, pen and paper which was online initially. Earlier, NDA made the announcement that the exam will be conducted in online mode in the centers across the country. But now the announcement has been made that the exam will be conducted offline in pen and paper mode. Number two, once a year. Like J, NEET 2 was earlier announced to be conducted twice a year in which the students could attempt both and best of the two is score was to be considered. But approving the health ministry's proposal, the exam will now be conducted once a year only and will be conducted on 5th May 2019 guys. I repeat, 5th May 2019 is the exam date for NEET. Number 3, the dates. The registration will start from 1st November 2018 and will be continued till 30th November. This table is on your screen right now. After that, the admit card will be out on 15th April. The exam will be held on 15th May as I already told you. And the result will be out on 5th June 2019. Many students might not be happy with the decision. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. Moving on to number 4 which is the attempts limit. There is no change in this as you already know that there is no attempt limit in NEET but the age limit. So you can appear for any number of times if you qualify the age criteria which is 17 to 25 years, okay? Now, number 5. The things which are still the same. First is the syllabus. Now if you don't know the complete syllabus, you can watch the video from the i button up there. Fees. General and OBC candidates have to pay 1400 rupees as the application fees while ST and SC have to pay 750 rupees. Number 3. The exam pattern. The pattern will be the same, total marks will be 720, plus 3 for right answers, minus 1 for wrong answer, and the duration is 3 hours. Number 4, eligibility criteria. The eligibility criteria is same except for one thing, it's very important guys. Earlier you needed to have biology as a compulsory subject to be eligible for NEED, but now if you have biology as a subject, no matter if you have it as a compulsory subject or as an additional subject, you can appear for NEED. Okay, so take a note of it. It's very important to know, guys. That's it. I hope I've provided you with some clarity. Calm your bed. If you still have any query, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you next time with some more informative videos. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. This is Kirti signing off. Bye-bye.